But I have to admit, I'm still a little bit peeved at what happened in yesterday's episode. But we are going to have to shake it off. Two matches remaining in the Liga Portugal season. Hopefully, we can finish out on a strong note. Wearing the kit of my team. Hopefully, in real life, we win this afternoon. And this morning, FC Porto ends the season with a bang. And welcome back, everyone, to episode number 130 of Bottom to the Top. I am Mr. Cellophane. Two matches remaining in the League of Portugal season. Our first full season in Portugal with FC Porto. We're hoping to take this team to the next level and our managerial career, to be fair. Since the unfortunate events against Manchester United in the Champions League... We bounced back with a rotated squad and a 4-2 victory on the road against Silva Sante with Alejandro Pintos picking up a pair of goals, Alex Von Real and Cesar Ramos as well. Pintos and Ramos are two of the six players we currently have with double-digit goal tallies in all competitions, but this one was fairly easy for us. Our next tilted home against Vissau was a little bit hairier, to be fair. 4-3, your final score. We decided to make a goalkeeper change after the last match because I think I've decided that VTech is not our goalie for the future. So we are trying out Diogo Ferreira. A little bit of time for him to get his sea legs. He did face 15 shots, nine of them on target, only let three in. So he did still have a pretty decent match. But this one kind of went back and forth. Martins opened up the scoring for us in the 32nd minute. Gilles Gel in the first minute of the second half tied things up before Armando made it to one. And then Jorge Rique a minute later. Brought it back even at two. Cesar Ventura put us ahead three to two in the 85th minute. And Gershke Akar added a fourth one minute into added time. But then Nestor Barreto scored two minutes later to bring it within 4-3. But there was really not enough time left on the clock to do any additional damage. So we took the 4-3 victory and ran. And we ran to Familia Sao, where Ferreira got the second consecutive start, picked up the clean sheet. 1-0 your score. It was a pretty even affair in the rain until Gonzalo Perez potted a goal past Bilal Aslan in the 83rd minute. Fairly uh, not very impressive for us, to be fair, on the road. We were losing the possession battle. We lost the XG battle. We lost the shots on goal battle, but ultimately, we won the war. Which we finally followed up with a 2-0 victory at home against Boa Vista, a team that beat us 4-1 at their place much earlier in the season. Both goals coming off of the foot of Gershke Akar, who now has 15 on the season. The clean sheet for Ferreira was his 7th in all competitions in 11 matches. Pretty impressive, considering VTech has eight in all competitions in about three times the number of games. So I think that we have chosen wisely, at least for now, although we are going to keep our eyes open on the free agent market because we realize that Diogo Ferreira, while having a good run and being young with the opportunity to maybe get better, he's definitely younger than VTech is, our goalie of the future, or at least our goalie for next year, may come from the transfer market and not our current roster. So this leaves us with matches at home against Estrella Amadora and on the road to end the season at Morirense. Sitting in second place on the table, Benfica has already claimed the championship. They only have one match left to play, but as you can see, 11 points ahead of us. We are just unable to make any inroads. We kept winning, but then again, so did they. Not much to play for in these final two matches because we sit nine points ahead of Sporting Braga with only six points available. You do the math. We are going to end the season 
in second place, which means we are guaranteed the league phase of the Champions League. Third place Braga will enter the Champions League in the third qualifying round. Rounding out Europe so far, Sporting and Boa Vista each claiming a spot in the Europa League. Familia Sal, potentially Visso could pick up the sixth and final European place for this year, most likely Familia Sal. So for our penultimate match, Ferreira will get the start once again in goal. It'll be a back four of Jenkins, Espinosa, Martinez, and Cunha. Acklin and Ventura in the midfield. Now, Acklin has been our advanced playmaker for most of the year to tremendous success. We're talking 14 goals and I believe 10 assists. Not too bad. Cesar Ventura, however, also double digits in assists. And we talked about earlier in a previous episode that he is one of the best wonder kids in the world. And he really has shown it with a 7.5 average rating in his last five matches. They're going to be our midfield duo. It's going to be a front four of Zungu, Ramos, Armando, and Akar. Ramos and Armando, 45 goals in all competitions between the two. And I could easily sit here and say, yeah, we came in second place. We ended up 11 points behind Boa Vista or Benfica. We really need to do better than them. I mean, Benfica only lost one match all season long. We didn't beat them, but we did draw them. The only team that beat us twice is actually Braga of all teams. They ended up beating us more than twice, but twice in the league. We're not going to get into semantics. One of the things I thought may have been the problem is is all of the center backs that we sold, which which was two. We did bring in others, including Espinoza. We're trying to see what we have. We know Martinez is world class. Armando with a shot and Stolarchik getting his hands on that to deflect it behind for a corner kick. We know that Martinez is going to be a superstar. He's only 19 years old. Maybe he's turned 20, but... He's definitely at the beginning of his professional career. I think we're going to need to bring in a superstar to pair with him. Pedro Iglesias was not that guy. We'll probably keep Iglesias around. He has played okay. Everyone has played okay on the back line. But I think we really need somebody, a superstar center back, to really bring Martinez along and take him to the next level. Ventura feeding Acar. He's in. He shoots. He scores. His 16th goal of the season. His third in the last two matches. And Gershke, Acar, worth every penny of the 93 million euros we paid for him last year. And he's only like our fifth best scorer, maybe fourth at this point, with 16 goals from the right wing. Now, we are also going to look to shore up our left-hand side. To be perfectly honest, our left back has not been as productive as we would like. Our left wing position has definitely not been as productive as we would like. Zungu, five goals. I believe he has 10 assists or eight assists. Not bad in limited duty. Sebastian Martinez taking it from Jenkins. That is an assist from our left wing back, to be fair. But Jenkins is only here on loan, and we are probably not going to pay a hundred plus million for him over the summer but sixth goal of the year for martinez but getting back to our left side that's really a position that we are going to need to shore up van real has been pretty good but i don't think he is the permanent answer at just 19 years old he just has not really developed into a world-class player just yet and a penalty has been awarded espinoza upended by Rui silva Francisco Cunha adds yet another, another penalty spot goal. I believe that's his fifth on the year. His sixth goal overall, it's Porto 3, Estrella Amadora nil. And we are basically running away with this one. Now, this is our 33rd match of the year. It will be our 25th win. So we have had a very good, very successful season. Sadly, Boa Vista, their season has just... Boa Vista, I did that twice already. Benfica, their season has just been better. 
There really is no uh, ifs, ands, or buts about that, even though we did make it deeper into the Champions League. And we came super close to winning one of the Cups, which we lost to Benfica, to be fair. So we just need to find those last couple of pieces <coughs> to add to our striking core. <coughs> Excuse me. Acar and Ventura across. <coughs> and Acklin is going to miss. My apologies, as allergy season is really starting to kick my butt at the end of this week. Jenkins did deliver another corner. Martinez almost gets his head on a second opportunity. He's already got one. Adding another would have been absolutely fantastic. Moving ahead, a 34th minute action. Stolarczyk looking to send it long after a free kick was awarded. Espinosa is going to nod it down and just kind of leave it. What on earth just happened there? Pedro Pradas with his fourth goal of the year brings Estrella Amadora back within two. Yeah, I really can't explain what just happened on this play. Espinosa just kind of left the ball for whom exactly? Can't fall for error, although that one's going to deny him his third consecutive clean sheet. <laughs> and here we go again. I swear, I thought this highlight was going to be the exact same, but Ramos able to knock it free for Acklin. Armando ahead. Ramos with it. He shoots and scores for the 23rd time this season. To restore the Porto lead to three, it's 4-1. And uh, I thought it was going to be a quick fire. What the hell just happened to our team? But luckily, Armando and Ramos pair up to bring balance back to the universe. But a kickoff highlight now. Estrella Amador looking to go the other way. Derek across for Gomes. Played forward. Touch pass up. Intercepted by Jenkins. Zungu. Over for Acklin, plays it towards Acar, fed forward, Armando into the box, across to Ramos, and his brace is complete. 24th goal of the year, Armando and Ramos teaming up in quick-fire fashion to make it 5-1, and Armando just signed a new five-year deal we had to throw in a ton of incentives uh but we did have to uh, give him our soft cap of 100,000 euros per week 15 to 5 your shots on goal but we ain't done Cunha getting the ball off of the set piece Ventura ahead a car quickly over for Ramos can he get his hat trick no but he plays it across to Armando with his goal so now Armando with his 24th, Ramos has 25. We're getting close to 50 goals between the two of them. And Acar finding Ramos. Ramos almost. That was blocked off by the defender. It pops right to Armando. Empty net as Delarchik came out to make the first challenge. And 6-1 uh, at the half. Nope, we're not at the half yet. Acar sending it in. Delarchik redirecting that behind for a corner. We've already played the three minutes they added on, so this will most likely be the last play of the half. Espinosa can't get his head on it. Ramos, though, will play it out wide to Acar. Into the box, moves past one man, shoots, and it gets deflected behind. It will be another corner, this one from the near side, which we will not get to see because they finally blow the halftime whistle. 6-1. Your score. Acar, Martinez, Cunha, a pair for Ramos. One for Armando. Pedro Pratas, a lone goal for Estrella Amadora. The lone light in the sky for the visitors. One lone change coming out of the locker room. We're going to give Nino Acklin the rest of the night off. Bring in uh, the loney Gianfi out of Fulham. Jenkins to throw it in. Zungu's got it. Thought about replacing Zungu. Acklin over Cesar Ventura. His sixth goal of the year, but they're going to give, I guess, Acar never got his head on that one because they gave the assist 
to Daniel Zungu, which is fine because we need more production out of our left wing. I mean, it hit off of Akar's, the back of his head. I'm not sure why they didn't give him credit for it, but Ventura putting home the goal in the early going. It's now 7-1. to one. Just giving Gianfi a little bit of additional playing time. We know what we have with Nino Acklin. We obviously want to keep most of the other players out there. Our strike pair has been having a fantastic match so far. And we definitely want to give Cesar Ramos the opportunity to pick up his hat trick. Maybe have Armando add another, get a brace. Pretas across for Rui Silva. Oh, he will tuck that inside the far post. It'll ricochet off of the woodwork and in for his first ever goal for Estrella Amador. Because in match week 33, that's exactly what happens to human players in Football Manager. If I had $5 for every first goal I gave up late in the season, I would be a semi-wealthy man, at least for couple of days. Zungu's had her unfortunately unable to find the target, but at 7-2, who really cares? At this point, uh, I just want to save my voice and stop having coughing fits and get through an entire match, because we still have one left in this episode. Uh, and uh, we pull within eight points, once again, of Benfica. If we end the season, potentially, assuming Benfica loses, of course, Within five, that would be nice. Ramos feeding a car, a cars in, and he shoots it wide. Well, that was very rare for a car to lose a one on one battle like that. 29 8, your shots on goal. Make that 30. We have 16 on target, and we are not even using our customary attacking mentality. Yep, doing this all on positive, baby. Martinez controlling it before dropping it back for Ferreira to look to get things restarted. He'll hoof it long. Fakim looking for Rui Silva. Is able to get there in front of Zungu. Martin's with it. Kirkhoven finds Rui Silva. Rui Silva looking for his second of the year. His cross is going to be blocked, but Silva will get the ball again. Pretas for his second. Allison will redirect that one. Past the diving Ferreira, but wide. It will be a goal kick for FC Porto Cunha. Looking to throw it in in the final third. Getting it back from Ventura. Gets it to the 19-year-old Peruvian. Gianfi taken down in the area, but no whistle from the referee. Kirkhoven looking to start the counterattack. Rui Silva back into the middle. That's behind Kirkhoven, so Akar will pick up the loose ball. Carrying it ahead. Akar up the right wing. Into the box. Akar still going. Shooting and scoring his 17th. Goal of the season, second of the night. It's Porto, eight. Estrella, Amadora, two. And this is an absolute shellacking of a team, to be fair, that is on the lower half of the table, came into this match in 12th place, a team that we have beaten on multiple occasions in our short stint here at FC Porto. But still... They are a top-flight team, and they need to start playing like one. Kirkhoven, Rui Silva, they picked up the pace a little bit. Thrown in the middle, Allison is going to lose the battle to Cunha. Akar gathers are near the far sideline, carrying it ahead, gets past one man, moves it forward. Armando, unable to control that ball. Derek, playing it away. Martinez, soft header to Ventura. Ramos with it. Ramos turns, carries it deep into the box. Ramos has men in the middle. He's going to shoot on and hit the side netting. Did Stalarchik get his hands on that? He did. It will be a Porto corner. Akar will look to deliver. Trying to pick out a man in the middle. Can't. Gianfi gets his head on it. Knocks it clear. Armando tracking it down along the near sideline. Back infield to Espinosa. And that is where the highlight is going to end. Blissfully only two minutes of added time from the Estrella Amadora point of view. 8-2 is your final score. We've got one match left to go, but now we've won five in a row in the league. No changes as we look to head into our final match of the season against Morarense. We are on the road. However, I like our chances. It's Ferreira, Jenkins, Espinosa, Martinez, and Cunha with Acklin and Ventura in the midfield. 
Zungu and Akar on the wings, Ramos and Armando up top. Those two playing very, very well together. We come into this match in excellent form. Winners of our last five in the league, Mororense. Well, they they have not. They've drawn three and lost two. Emerson Jose looking to send it in. Cunha trying to clear. Marcelo going for the bicycle kick. It's going to come out. And Armando's going to take it up. He's got one man to beat. He's also got a man on him. That is Miguel knocking it away. Armando getting it back into that far corner, into the middle. And Tessier coming off his line to grab that out of the air. The rain is coming down. A bit of a kit clash in this match, to be perfectly fair. Um, we are in the cream-colored shorts. They are in the black shorts. That's the easy way to tell us apart. A car into the middle. Cutting in is Cesar Ramos. His 25th goal of the season. And Gershke A car, his 17th assist, which puts him above Savio and gives him a new record for assists in a season here at FC Porto. Savio, you may remember one of the players that we sold over the summer as we basically cleared out anyone over a certain age. It, it, it felt draconian, but Savio was making also, I believe, 180,000 euros a week, and we were trying to cut back on our salary. Now, they have set our initial budgets for next year, $2 million a week in salary, which is about half a million more than we are currently spending with the team we are putting out on the pitch and a transfer budget of 138 million euros, which I believe is all of the money we already had allocated in our transfer budget remaining this season. So a lot of money to spend. We're probably going to spend it. Throwing forward. Oh my goodness. Nino Acklin with a beautiful assist on Armando's goal. Was he offside, however? VAR is going to check. I don't think he was. And that is correct. He was not. Nino Acklin getting the ball from Espinoza. Armando on the half volley beats Tessier. And another fantastic goal. So our two strikers... Armando and Ramos each scoring assists for Nino Acklin and Gershke Akar. And another dominant performance so far from FC Porto. We just need to take this dominance, build upon it, add the pieces we need, hopefully without subtracting too much. But I can already tell you a number of our players are wanted by other squads. Good job tracking back for Akar. Acklin in control ahead for Armando. Ventura will play it up the right wing to Akar. Akar trying to push it past uh, his man. He'll stop along the byline. Try to nutmeg Marcelo, but Marcelo is going to come away with the ball. Souza playing it up ahead. Cunha stealing it back. Martinez, Ventura finds Akar. Across for Acklin. Ramos turns. Ventura shoots, and it's going to sail over and into play for a goal kick. And even though a golden opportunity was just missed, FC Porto still looking very, very strong on the road. Now, our dream of pulling within five points of Benfica is probably going to fall by the wayside. They are currently leading their match by a score of one to nil. Miguel playing it ahead for Andres, running into a bit of traffic. Duresh looking to send it forward, picking out Emerson Jose, but he's not going to get it that far. Jenkins, Acklin over to Akar. Feeding Armando. Armando beating a diving Tessier for his 26th goal of the season if it stands. Once again, the offside appeals are taking place. This time, they are going to be heard as VAR is going to overturn that goal. Armando having strayed into an offside position just could not bend his run enough to wait for the pass of Acar. Tessier looking to get a start again. Lucioni up for Andres as they try to work it through the midfield before laying it off to the right side. Duresh again. Espinoza winning the head, uh, the header battle. Zungu shooting from range, clattering it off with the crossbar. Armando's header is going to be wayward. He had a brilliant opportunity to follow up what was not 
the greatest shot in the world by Zungu. Unfortunately, Armando unable to both rectify his error by having a goal called back from the offside play earlier to pick up his brace. So we head to the half 2-0 Porto over Morarense. You guys have done great. I think I just gave the same team talk at uh, the half that I did before the match, but doesn't seem to have had an adverse effect. First highlight of the second half, Emerson Jose will play it for Bunyas, but Ventura steps in and knocks it away. Great standing tackle by Cesar Ventura. The 19-year-old Peruvian has been magnificent this season. Just a shame we didn't give him more opportunities earlier as Porto looks to uh, restart things the other direction. Ramos with it in the midfield, moves it infield before dropping it back for Espinosa. Ahead for Martinez in that more advanced center back position. In the libero role, Acar stops, feeds Ventura in the box. Ventura will chip it past the goalkeeper for his seventh goal of the year. A beautiful team goal for FC Porto. And here in the 49th minute, we find ourselves up 3-0. Now, can we keep another clean sheet and the third in four matches for Diogo Ferreira? We shall see. It is uh, still Benfica 1, Estrella Amadora 0. Just the Lopez goal in the third minute. The difference in that one. Better defense, it appears, this week from Estrella Amadora than last week. And uh, I think we're going to be getting a penalty here. We've played 55 minutes in this match. It's Porto 3, Morense 0. The call is penalty. It has been awarded, and I'm guessing that Cunha is going to take it. He already has five goals this year from the spot. Can he make it six? Oh, you betcha. Cunha with a penalty kick goals in back-to-back -back matches. He now has seven goals on the year, six of them from the spot. Tessier guessing wrong. Cunha goes the other way to make it Morense nil, Porto four. Another nice play by Ventura. Espinosa finds Jenkins. Acklin with it. Ventura doing a great job pivoting it near side. Zungu. Into the middle. Gets through Ramos, but Armando is there. His 26th goal of the year for the second time in this match. He's now scored two. It's Porto 5, Morense 0. I do truly apologize if this video ends up looking and sounding terrible. I really am trying my level best. These allergies, as I've already mentioned, are kicking my butt. Acar from the spot kick. Can't tuck it in. Tessier will redirect it behind. And there will be yet another Porto corner. Jenkins to deliver. Near post. Can't pick out Martinez. And they'll just let it roll out for a throw. Well, at least you know my outro is going to be short and sweet. Cunha throwing it in. Final third throw in. Acar. Ventura. Cunha. Acar. Ridden off by Tomei and cleared. Martinez. Cushion header down for Aiklin who will blast it just over the crossbar. As it ripples the top of the net. 24 to 3. Your shots on goal. Morarense yet to find the target. Cunha heading it forward. Acklins, he's got Ventura, but Sousa will step and knock that one away. Bunas. I said they didn't have any shots on target, so watch. Here comes one. Yep. And it's a goal. Andre Tome is first goal of the season. To ruin the clean sheet, it's Morarense 1, Porto 5, and another example of me opening my big fat mouth and football manager making me look terrible. Kickoff highlight. Can we get the goal back and restore the five-goal lead? We shall see. Espinosa in control of the ball, just moving it ahead, slowly taking his time. We've played 75 minutes of this match. Martinez moving it forward. Brambia uh, steps in front of that. Lucioni ahead for Lopez. 
And the counterattack is on for Mora Rense. Can it be like the last match where they had a counterattack that we stifled and then we had our counterattack of our own where we scored? Please. Emerson Jose shoots, misses wide. The Morarense supporters leaving the stadium early. I cannot blame them. Let's see if we can get some fresh legs on this pitch. We'll bring Sandro in in place of Simon Jenkins, who is basically having the worst match of any of the players that are out there. Be a little cheeky if we threw Radic Vitek on and he got himself a clean sheet. Uh, we are not going to do that. Daniel Zungu is going to make way for David Zambrano. Gonzalo Perez will come in in place of Cesar Ramos. Because, you know, Ramos only had the one goal versus the two. Let's give Armando a shot at the hat trick, shall we? With uh, less than 10 minutes remaining in this match, still only the single shot on target for Morarense, and it was the goal. Again, the first of the season. I can't believe it. Zambrano chipping it. Far post, Akar clatters it off of the crossbar, and Gomez eventually clears it. Cunha will drop it for Ventura, and we look to go back the other way quickly, but we're not going to see any more of that. Instead, we've got Sousa dropping it for Marcello. Tome across, Gomez with a shot. Ferreira getting his hands on that one. Not sure it was going to go all the way on target, but it's fine. Late corner kick, uh, Bunyas to take it from the near corner. Sending it across, looking back post. Akar will try to head it away. Perez can't get to the follow-up. Sousa will knock it down. Lucioni still in control at the edge of our third. Gomez, Bunyas knocked off of the ball. It will go all the way through over the byline and out for a goal kick. Final third throw in three minutes have been added on. Sent in, punched away by Tessier. Sandro will ultimately track it down. Play it ahead for Zambrano. He's got Nino Acklin. Acklin across for Ventura. Looking for Acar. He finds him. Acar is in. He shoots and he scores. 18 goals. 17 assists. 25 goal contributions for our star right winger, Gershke Acar. It's now 6-1 Porto. And that, my friends, is most likely going to do it as the remaining time ticks off of the clock. And we end the season on a very nice winning streak that hopefully we can carry over to next year. Second place finish, not too shabby. And we have a ton of money to work with. Some players we're probably going to be looking to move on. And holes that we need to fill, goalkeeper, left back, left wing, everything else. Pretty much set, although we do want a superstar center back as well. Now, don't we? Transfer special coming up on Monday. Thank you so very much for joining me. We had a very successful season in general. Very frustrating time in the Champions League against Manchester United. That trap that is Old Trafford for us came back to bite us big we've got champions league football coming up next year we're going to be vying for the title of the league of portugal and maybe pick up some silverware along the way we did pretty decently there this year as well making it deep in all of the competitions we've made a cup final let's see if we can get over the hump hit the like button please subscribe if you have not thank you very much for supporting the channel and i look forward to seeing you on Monday, where we find out what we've been able to do to make this the best team in Portugal. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.